Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 video. Today we're going to be using a squad of all players that spent their entire career with one team only. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. I post a ton of MLB The Show 20 content and drop a like on the video. That helps me out a ton in the YouTube algorithm. So this team is going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, all guys that spent their whole career in real life with only one team. Uh, keep in mind there are a lot of guys on the game actually that did this that I'm leaving out. Guys like Lou Gehrig, Jeff Bagwell, Alex Gordon even most recently that are not included in this team build and I did that on purpose because for the hitters especially I wanted to have a nice diverse group of teams. So each of the hitters is its own team. We only have one of each guy. So there it is for the rotation. We have Walter Johnson, Bob Feller, Bob Gibson, Whitey Ford, and Jim Palmer. We are going to be throwing Bob Gibson in this one because I think he's pretty iconic as a Cardinal. The bullpen was a little harder. Basically, the only guy I could roll with is Mariano for this, so he's going to be closing for us. Um, and then I kind of went to a couple guys that are in the league now that have only pitched for one team so far, those being Kinley and Hayter. And then for the other four, I picked relievers that did end up moving on to different teams like well after their prime, but are known iconically for the team that they pitch with on their cards. So this being Hoffman for the Padres, Kimbrell for the Braves, Britton for the Orioles, and Wade Davis for the Royals. So I thought that was kind of a cool way to incorporate the bullpen there. Uh, didn't go over the lineup. We're leading off a prestige Craig Biggio, or as I call him, Prestigio. Uh, Tony Gwynn in center field hitting second. Then we got 96 Chipper Jones in the left field. I don't have the 99 because BR makes me want to go insane. Uh, Todd Helton playing first base representing the Rockies. Ernie Banks at shortstop for the Cubs. George Brett at third for the Royals. Uh, Al Clay Kaline in right field for the Tigers and batting in the eight hole. Jorge Posada playing catcher. On the bench we got Mike Schmidt, Phillies, Stan Musial, Cardinals, Ted Williams, Robin Yount, and Barry Larkin, both of the last two prestige. So this is gonna be a fun one. Hopefully we can pull out the W. Here we are playing Colorado Team Anonymous. I don't know how I keep hitting against Oral Hershiser. Maybe it's because he's one of the best pitchers in the game. I don't know. <laughs> uh, God Squad lineup for my opponent. Nolan Arenado is a little unusual, but everyone else is very common. We bury the changeup to King Griffey Jr. right off the rip, and he takes the bait. Nice block by Posada. Will he to deep center? <laughs> I'm going to pretend like that ball wasn't just an out when it shouldn't have been. Soto underneath the fastball after about a 10 pitch at bat. 1-2-3 for Bob Gibson in the first. Prestigio the other way on a bit of a hanging slider. That's staying in the park. I didn't deserve a hit on that. That PCI was actually kind of terrible. For those of you stream watchers, we got Project Gwyn at the plate and we are going to keep him as a project. Project Gwyn means I power swing with him because it works really well. And by works really well, I mean hit infield dribblers that we beat out for. Oh, he got me out! And Chipper bounces it out to shortstop. That's about as bad of an inning as we've had in a while. Only saw 10 pitches and went 1, 2, 3. Machado to third. George Brett makes the play. Nice easy corner. Infield defense, two down. Inside sinker, we jam Arenado. K-Line makes the play with, I think K-Line has 99 fielding as a prestige. Making it look easy. Stub stipend legend Todd Helton at the dish. That ball's ripped to first and it gets under Belly's glove somehow. We take those freebies. Banks with the walk, another freebie. Oh, I missed that with my PCI so bad. He might not get there though. Wow, Willie didn't get there. I wish I would have sent my runners earlier. Should be able to round home and score here, but everyone else is going to stay put. Actually... Woo! <laughs> that was way closer than I thought. Our base running could not have been worse, and how did we hit that to the wall with that PCI? Whatever, moving on. K-line the other way. That almost gets through, and it's knocked down by Mookie. Base is juiced for Posada. We get bailed out on another terrible swing. Welcome to All-Star Difficulty. And that ball's absolutely Perfect. destroyed. You knew it was going to happen. We've had the cheesiest inning of all time, and we're up 5 nothing with still nobody out in the second. Don't sleep on Bob Gibson. He can hit a little bit. <laughs> hit that one about 350 to dead center. Vigio down the line, but that's caught. Good play over there by Nolan. Project Gwen to the right side. Single on a perfect grounder. And that ball's destroyed as well. To left field. Wait, is that staying in? Hello? All right, let's not pretend that uh, I deserved a home run on that swing. <laughs> Moving on. Cap grounds to the right for a single. 
Mookie late to right field. First and second for my opponent. Nobody out. Does he pinch it for Oral here? He is pulling the trigger on MVP Christian Yelich in just the top of the third inning. And that decision is going to hurt him mightily. Routine double play. And just like that, this inning gets a lot easier. And we get Oral Hershiser out of the game. Griffey swings at the back foot slider and grounds it out to first base. We escape the jam. Bob Gibson threw three with a shutout. He's going to Pomeranz out of the pen. Not a starting pitcher. Kind of surprising. I got to give him props for going to a reliever here. That's not a swing you want to take. Ernie to center. That's staying in the park. My PCI placement literally could not be worse. All right, we went one, two, three to Drew Pomeranz on All-Star on seven pitches. I'm going to go ahead and retire from MLB The Show. Gibson finally gives up a run. Willie takes us deep to right center. Great swing by my opponent and throwing too many sliders. Soto gets a slider as well, but this one's staying in the park right at K-line. Oh my god, dude. Everything this guy has hit this inning has been destroyed. Up the middle base hit for his Bellinger. Got Nolan to pop out. Swing late again. We've done that twice to him. And Bob somehow only gives up the solo shot. That ball is crushed to right field. Is it gone? Dude, look at this feedback. 93 off the bat. Give me a break. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Posada, center field. We're late on inside cutters and sliders a lot recently. And Gibson hits a little dribbler. We have not had a base runner since the second inning. Pomerantz coming in for him. Getting two perfect innings. That's exactly what he needed. Cap to third. Easy grounder to shortstop and Ernie Banks two down. He has elected to leave Pomeranz in. Interesting decision down four here. I don't know how I feel about it. He's probably going to need as many pinch hits as he can if he wants to come back. I don't think I like this move. At the end of the day, his bullpen could be gassed. I don't know what's going on. I'll take the out. Vigio to shortstop. Pretty good swing. No result. Project Gwen to left field. That is another Perfect. out. I even projected that one. <laughs> A.K.A. Power Swung and still just right at Soto. Feels bad. There's Chipper with a single. I thought we were going to go three straight innings without a base runner. Let's get a little two-out magic. Chipper fast enough to steal on Pomeran's long delivery. We're in there easily, but now we're in an 0-2 count. I'm late on a fastball. Is Soto going to get there? Oh, how do I keep missing these cookies, bro? Well, the bats have gone ice cold, and we are letting our opponent stay in this game as he rips a no-doubter to center field to make it 5-2. to two. Bottom line, we want to win. We got to score more. And that's Willie to shortstop. We got lucky on that one. Man, I feel like this guy has smacked the ball for so many outs, dude. We're actually getting so lucky. <laughs> Dude, he was right on that. I think my opponent's literally going to uninstall after this game. Banks to first. Just couldn't get it going. Pomeranz is in his fourth inning of work. We can get that going. Nice little ground ball single for George Brett. Maybe we can rally with the bottom of our lineup here. Yeah, I'd call that a rally. I stuttered, and he also caught the ball. Oh, it's actually gone, dude. This is the worst gameplay commentary clip of all time. I hit a home run with Al Kaline, okay? Let's move on. It's 7-2. Finally taking Pomeranz out for Eric Gagne. Posada rips it to center field. Another perfect, perfect, perfect line out for us. But he's gotten his share of unlucky stuff as well. I really can't complain. Whew. Blew it by Bob. Alliterative and true. He leads it off with a ball that's absolutely scorched to right field for a single. I left Bob in, but obviously if it gets dicey, we're going to have to make a change. That is the third time we've gotten Arenado jammed on an inside sinker, and that's the first time it's landed for a hit. Cap to second for the double play. Double plays are killing this guy. Bob's going to get out of another jam. All right, maybe he's not. We just walked Mookie Betts. Mickey Mantle off the bench. Not really what you want to see here. We get him to chase above the zone and blow another opportunity. Well, Biggio went one for four with an early swing for a single. I don't think anybody's surprised. And Project Gwyn rolls it over for a double play. Our top of our lineup could not be hitting worse. 
Now ball's ripped to shortstop for another one, two, three inning for us. Y'all ever just look up and you have seven runs and you have no idea how you got there because you've been playing as if you had a blindfold on the entire game? Dude, Griffey just tagged me again. <laughs> this card is so good. Maze is late, and that's out number one in the eighth. Spitting bars out here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's crushed, too. He ties us in hits, but we're still up by three. Soto with a bomb. Machado's late for out number two in the eighth. I'm not going to make that joke again. Ripped to right. <laughs> we may have to make a bullpen move here. All right, three at bats against Serenado. I've thrown a sinker inside. He's been late three times. One of them was a single. What's he gonna do? He's late again. It's another single. Somebody help me, dude! Got him to pop it up to right field. We survive again. Eight solid innings of four-run ball from Bob Gibson. And you know we're bringing in the greatest closer of all time to pitch the ninth inning. Helton to left center. Not going to get a lot of exit velo on a swing like that this year. Low and away change up, well placed. Man, the perfect. offense is stone cold, and I'd be shocked if I'm hitting 500 on perfects this game. George Brett to dead center. That's destroyed. Perfect. There's no way that's staying in. Giving us a little insurance here with two outs in the eighth. Kansas City Royals legend. That ball's crushed too. Can K-Line get one again? Dude, that's literally staying in. Ha! What? Ha! What? All-Star is something else. We got Prestige Mariano on the mound with a four-run lead. And that's a nice lazy fly out to right field again. Out K-Line's been busy. One out. Ooh, rip to left field. And uh, Chipper Jones in left field is not really a good time. We should maybe think about a defensive sub, actually. Dude, no way. <laughs> Griff, he just hit his third bomb off me, dude. Luckily, he's a little too amped after that home run. We get an easy ground out to second. Can Mariano survive? He does. Rolled over to Helton. GG's to my opponent. I feel like we hit that big grand slam with Posada. We got the five run inning early on and we kind of just deflated after that. Luckily our pitching held on for us. Bob Gibson did give up 11 hits and only struck out two, but managed to only give up four runs. Mariano gave up two in the ninth, but survived. For our lineup, George Brett, three for four with a home run and two RBIs. Al Kaline, two for four with a home run and two RBIs. Posada with the grand slam. That's gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this team build. It was a lot of fun using guys that spent their whole career with one team. Friendly reminder to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a like on the video. And if you made it all the way to the end, be sure to drop a comment down below that says, Brev, you got carried by one single swing. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.